Alright, so we'll continue to discuss example 16 until 18 for the estimation part. Okay, so these three examples are still talking about the point estimator. Alright, so you can read the question first and see which keyword tells you that you should apply the um, unbiased estimates formula. Okay, so here I'm having 200 fish okay, of a particular species and then these are the results. Right? So the weight of the fish are uh, x, and then the number of fish in the past is x. Uh, sorry, is f frequency. So this is a question with the frequency one. Okay, so here they say assuming that fish are random, are a random sample from the population of this species. Okay, so highlight the keyword estimate, and then they want you to estimate the mean and variance for the species. Okay, so if they want you to estimate the mean and variance for the species, uh, generally what should we do is um, from here, you can see the keyword estimate. And after that, you're having 200 fish and you want to use the 200 fish data to estimate the whole species values. So it is estimation. Okay, all right. So let us start to calculate the mean for the species. Very easy also, the formula is still the same. So because this one with frequency one, up, so the formula will be summation fx divided by the summation f. Okay, so you can continue with your calculation. I'm not going to show you the detail. Uh, the summation of fx, you should get 626.25 divided by 200. And the final answer that you get should be 3.13. Okay, and then for part number two, variance. Okay, so for the variance again, you need to do the estimation, right? Okay, so maybe for the unbiased estimates value for variance, huh, I will want to use this as summation fx squared minus summation of fx, the whole thing squared, divided by summation of f. Huh? So this is the first formula that we have. But take note, uh, all this formula will not be provided in the formula booklet. So the formula booklet provided one will be the basic one with the N one, without the frequency one. So you need to roughly know how to modify it, become the formula with frequency. Okay, so this is what I want to use. Okay, so summation F is 200 minus one become 199. Okay, and then after that, you try to calculate summation of Fx squared. Uh. So the summation of fx squared, it means that, I just give you some example. You take 0 0.5, which is the x, you square it, and then you multiply it with 21. This is fx squared. Then plus, again, 1.25 squared, multiply with 32, and so on. Okay, so if you calculate the total, eventually you should get um, three two two zero point one eight seven five. Okay, then minus the summation fx. That means you will take x multiply with the f, x multiply with the f, and so on. Then you should get six two six point two five, and you square it divided by two hundred. Okay, so if you continue the calculation uh, and round it up to three significant figures, then you should have 6.33. So the mean should be 3.13 and then the variance should be 6.33. And of course, if you are interested, you can try to apply the third formula in the notes that we show you to see whether you can get the same answer or not. Uh. If let's say you cannot get the same answer, there is something wrong with your calculation. So you double check. You should be able to get the same answer. All right, so this is what we have for example 16. Okay, then if we proceed to example 17, so you'll see that in this question, they give you summation of x, summation of x squared, and then the size is 40, and they want you to calculate unbiased estimates. Okay, so again, you can see that this is the keyword now. Right, unbiased estimates of the mean, so they want you to calculate two values, one is the mean, the second one is the variance of the population from the sample. 
So this is even more straightforward. Look. What is the mean value that you can get here? It should be, again, okay, summation of x divided by n. Okay, so you fill in the value, eventually you should be able to get 18.6, oh sorry, 18.45. Okay, and then if you want to get the variance, so if you look at the variance again, the more suitable uh, formula that you can use is this one. Okay, so summation x squared minus summation x square divided by n okay or if you want to use the the third one also can n divided by n minus one okay then multiply with the sample variance that means you use the value to calculate the sample variance first then only you multiply with n divided by n minus one so just uh, take note that this is the value of n uh, the sample size okay all right, so if you continue with this formula correctly without any careless mistake, you should be able to get 74.6 as the answer. Okay, all right, then the next one. Okay, so example 18, maybe you can read the question first. Um, there's a magazine conduct a survey about, about the sleeping time. So a random sample of 12 adults. So the 12 here will be the sample size, which is the N, from the adult traveling to work on the train. Okay, so they want you to give a reason why this is an unsatisfactory sample for the purpose of the survey. Okay, so they actually want to do a survey about sleeping time of adults. But they only carry out the survey from the adults who are traveling to work on the train. Okay, so why is, the, why is this? This is not a good sample for the purpose of the survey. So you can say that the train, okay, the adults on the trains are, are not, or maybe I can write adults on the train later. So the adults on the train, uh, you can write are not representative. Okay, of the whole population. Because you should actually try to do the survey among the adults on different places, that but not only focus on the train. And you assume that the adults, the adults are traveling on the train uh, represent the whole population, which is not a good sample, right? Because we said the sample should be randomized. Okay, so this is not a randomized sample. All right, so here they say state a population for which this sample would be satisfactory. Okay, so if let's say they want to use this sample, uh, so what is the good population that can can be represented by this sample? So you can say that the people who are travel who travel to work on this train. Okay, so this is something like based on your understanding about the basic top, a uh, basic idea on sample or population. Also, hopefully you have an idea like how to write out. Okay, so you should this question will give you one or two marks. All right. Okay, then once done, then you see this sample of child adults. Okay, give the numbers of sleep as shown below. So here they want you to calculate unbiased estimates of the mean and the variance of the sleeping time of adults. So again, this is the keyword, unbiased estimates. So you can see very clearly. Okay, so again, I'm not going to continue with the calculation uh, for you already. You just calculate yourself. I think this is quite straightforward. So for the estimated mean, if you want to calculate it in detail, the final answer that you get should be 6.17.
and the unbiased estimates values for variance, if you didn't do any careless mistake, the answer should be 0 0.657. <clears throat> okay, so here you can see very clearly that um, the point estimators here, the question can be quite straightforward. You just apply the formula, but you need to know when they ask you to estimate the value for the population. Okay, all right, so I think I will stop here for this video. It is a short one indeed, but uh, for the next video, I'm going to discuss with all of you how to calculate the estimator, the confidence uh, interval, the interval estimator. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.